I think, to be honest with you, we are dealing with a, a special purpose vehicle called IEBC. And all the signs are there for IEBC to deliver or to force unto Kenyans a candidate of their choice. Um, let me talk about two instances. Of course, it's very horrible that they have not given Jim Wanjigi, my brother Ruben Kigame, an opportunity. At least in my case, I was given an opportunity and subjected to a very frivolous uh, process. Now, I think IEBC has no capacity, to be honest, to hold this election. IEBC has said in the past that the election is a process. And if election is a process, then you must remain consistent. In 2017, on the 28th of May, 2017, IEBC issued me with a certificate to run as president. Last, fifth, 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 uh, uh, last Sunday, IEBC denied me that certificate on the excuse that my degree certificate is not certified. Isn't that laughable? <laughs> so I think we are dealing with an institution here that, first of all, is clearing the wrong candidates just because they do not want alternative voices like Wills has said. I'll give you an example. There is a candidate they have cleared called Azimio Laumoja, one Kenya coalition political party candidate. And I would like Kenyans to have a serious debate about this. A political party that is fully registered in Kenya must have at least 24,000 registered voters. And those registered voters have to be living persons, not companies, not corporates. The candidate that IBC has cleared, who we know, is a system candidate, is actually a candidate from a corporate body called Azimio. Azimio Laumoja party, coalition party, its membership is ODM, NAC Kenya, WIPA, KANU, and the others. Now I want us to ask a very serious question. Will ODM go and vote in an election? So there is no voter called ODM, there is no voter called WIPA, there can only be a voter called Jim Wanjigi, Ekuru Aukot, uh, Ruben Kigami, and, and that is the injustice that we are seeing in this election. Uh, so, so therefore, I think what we are going to say, and, and Jimmy will summarize on this, we are not going to tire. We are not going to allow our country to be mistreated like somebody's chattel, or we are not going to allow individuals to hide behind institutions. Personally, I'm going to make a case against each and every of those commissioners. Because people cannot make decisions that are injurious to a country, to people, and then hide behind an institution called IEBC. And this journey is just beginning. I don't want to say much.